discussion on basics of intracardiac electrograms. Myocardial cells generate the cardiac action potentials. The bipolar electrode which is a combination of two poles record potentials generated by various cells in its field of measurement. Electrophysiology catheters are shown in the left anterior oblique view. The surface ECG electrodes are marked with yellow arrows. The decapolar catheter is situated in the coronary sinus and has been introduced from above using a jugular vein puncture. Electrodes are numbered from 1 to 10 in a distal to proximal fashion so that the distal pair is 1, 2 and the proximal pair is 9, 10. Distal electrodes record potential from the left atrium. One quadripolar catheter is positioned in the region of bundle of his and another in the right ventricle. All electrode pairs are connected to a junction box and through it to the EP recorder. Recordings from all electrode pairs are displayed on the EP recorder. Right ventricular catheter is also used for the pacing protocols while inducing tachycardia. His bundle electrode pairs are named his proximal and his distal. The pattern of activation during sinus rhythm is studied initially to identify the sequence of activation. Changes in the sequence with various pacing protocols are assessed later. The ablation catheter is thicker and tip electrode is bigger with more surface area for the delivery of the radio frequency energy during radio frequency catheter ablation. The morphology and amplitude of the intracardiac electrograms depend on the type of depolarization and local myocardial characteristics orientation of activation of wavefront in relation to the myocardium, distance from the recording electrodes, size, configuration and interpolar distance of the recording electrodes, orientation of the bipole as well as the conducting medium. Recorded potentials are due to summation of both high and low frequency waveforms. High frequency components are the sharp and multi-component parts of the electrogram like catheter contact artifacts and electromagnetic interference. Low frequency components are the dull sine wave like components and include the far field potentials. Each recording pole represents the local extracellular potential beneath them in case of unipolar recording. When there are two unipolar electrodes adjacent to each other, the potentials look similar except for the time delay. In contrast, a bipolar electrogram is the difference between two unipolar recordings. Electrograms recorded between two poles located within the heart are known as bipolar electrograms. Unipolar electrograms use an active electrode within the heart and an indifferent electrode outside the heart. Most of the electrograms recorded during an EP study are bipolar, while occasionally unipolar electrograms are also recorded. Unipolar electrograms have more localizing value and can also indicate if there is excessive pressure due to catheter contact with the ventricular wall which produces ST segment elevation due to an injury current. The size of the electrograms will depend on the proximity of the electrode to the structure from which it originates. For example, good atrial and ventricular electrograms can be recorded from a location on the mitral or tricuspid annulus. Electrograms should be correlated with the corresponding surface electrocardiograms though certain potentials like those originating from the bundle of his do not have their counterparts on the surface ECG. Since the recorded signal voltages are usually less than 10 mV, they have to be amplified by an amplifier capable of modifying gain as needed. The signals are then digitized with an analog to digital converter with a sampling rate of 1000 Hz. The bandpass filter settings are also different for intracardiac recordings. While the low pass filter for surface electrocardiograms permit signals below 200 Hz, that for intracardiac recordings is set at below 500 Hz. The high pass filter for surface electrocardiogram is at 0.05 Hz, while that for intracardiac is 30 to 50 Hz. Notch filter is used to filter out the alternating current line voltage interference which is set at 50 Hz or 60 Hz 
depending on the frequency of the supply voltage in that locality. The normal ventricular electrogram has multiple rapid components with an amplitude over 3 millivolt in 95% of areas. Mean amplitude may be around 6.7 millivolts and mean duration around 54 milliseconds. In over 95% of cases, the duration is less than 70 milliseconds. The His bundle electrogram is a sharp biphasic or triphasic signal designated as H normally seen between the atrial A and the ventricular V signals when the electrode tip is near the bundle of His. Once the His potential is identified, AH and HV intervals are measured. Measurements are made from the proximal His electrode signal. The position should be confirmed by fluoroscopy and the HV interval should be normally more than 35 milliseconds and associated with a good atrial electrogram. AH is measured from the earliest reproducible rapid atrial deflection to onset of H deflection in the His bundle catheter. HV interval is measured from the onset of H activation to the onset of surface V or QRS in any lead. EP tracings in sinus rhythm. Upper three tracings are surface electrocardiograms, leads 1, 2 and V1 in white color. Next two tracings are from the His bundle catheter, His distal and proximal. The large broad deflections in this tracing is the ventricular electrogram V, while the triphasic signal prior to it is the His potential H. The deflection before that is the atrial electrogram A. Five pairs of electrodes in the coronary sinus are numbered from distal to proximal so that CS910 is the proximal pair and CS12 is a distal pair with the other pairs in between. All the tracings from the coronary sinus electrode are in violet color. The earliest atrial activity is in the surface lead V1. The atrial activity in the His electrode comes after that followed by the proximal coronary sinus electrodes. Distal coronary sinus electrodes pick up the atrial activity later, reflecting later activation of the left atrium. The distal coronary sinus electrodes also show the ventricular activity, which is more delayed than the ventricular activity picked by the right ventricular electrodes, RVD, distal, RVP, proximal. Mapping electrode or ablation catheter picks up atrial and ventricular activities and a tiny His potential. The distal mapping electrode map D picks up a fractionated atrial electrogram, a tiny His potential and a relatively smaller ventricular electrogram. This type of electrograms are obtained while mapping the potential site for slow pathway ablation which is between the His bundle catheter and the coronary sinus catheter in the posterior approach for AV and RT ablation. Abnormal intracardiac electrograms include fragmented potentials, double potentials and mid-diastolic potentials. Low voltage potentials are those with an amplitude less than 0.5 mV in the atrium and 1.5 mV in the ventricle. Low voltage potentials could be due to myocardial infarction, fibrosis or poor contact of the electrodes as well as due to far field defect. A fragmented signal may indicate a region of slow conduction. Pulmonary vein potentials have a rapid high frequency initial deflection and short duration. They follow the far field atrial electrograms during left atrial pacing and precedes far field electrogram during pulmonary vein pacing. A successful electrophysiological study depends on the perfect understanding of normal and abnormal intracardiac electrograms recorded. The abnormal electrograms are used to identify critical regions of focal or re-entrant tachycardias which can be the targets for ablation. While conventional electrocardiograms from the body surface are recorded at a paper speed of 25 mm per second, intracardiac electrograms are recorded at a much higher paper speed of 100 to 200 mm per second. Filtering of intracardiac electrograms are also different from that of surface ECGs to reduce noise and interference. Electrograms denoting the electrical activity of structures near the electrode are termed near-field electrograms 
while those from a distance are termed as far field electrogram. For example, a ventricular electrode will record a near field ventricular electrogram and a far field atrial electrogram. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe, like, share and post your valuable comment below this video.